Hello. In this video, I'm going to discuss a questions solution with the help of loop at group by syntax, which I have received in my ABAP ritual community from one of my members. She's having the question over here. She's having this data as an input. Here you can see that this is the material. Then she's having this is the year and this is the date and some extra data are also there. So now her requirement is to get each material with the latest date in a specific year. So she is expecting the output in this format actually. So here you can see that this is the 101. And again, we are having the 101 over here material. And again, we are having the 101 and 101. So what she wants, she wants to have the material in a specific date, in a specific year with the latest date. So here 101 material with 2021, here 101 material with the 2021 year, right? So uh, here we are having 101 material, but this is the different year. And here again, we are having the same material, but with the 2020. So what actually, if you consider 101, she is expecting the material year and in that year with the latest date. So this is the, uh, uh, this is actually, she is expecting for 101 material with 2021 and this is the date. Again, for this 101 material in 2020 year, the latest date is 442020, right? So here you can see that 101 material uh, in the year 2021, this is 462021 is the latest year. So this is what the, uh, this is what her uh, output for material 101 and year 2021, right? So similarly for 101 and year 2020 and so on, you can see that hope you understood the requirement let's go and see how we can achieve this uh, particular stuff with the help of a powerful new syntax that is loop at group by the benefit of this syntax as already we know that it gets implemented at the kernel layer and uh, uh, so so the grouping and all these stuff becomes very faster and that's why it is recommended over at new and uh, other control break statement. So we are supposed to implement this kind of requirement with the help of loop at group by a syntax. So already I have created a, a very detailed video on this with the different syntax enhancement like loop at group by with members, without members, a loop at group by into key, here, we are not going to discuss those, but we are going to discuss here how to achieve that particular requirement with the help of loop at group by. So already I have written the code and tested as well. What I have done in order to meet her requirement, created one internal table with five fields over here. So material number, year and date over here, and then some extra field just I have kept it. Okay. And then declared a types for declaring the uh, internal table, right? So here we are having the table types and just here using the value operator, dynamically I'm creating, uh, uh, using the inline uh, declaration syntax, I'm creating this it underscore tab internal table using the value operator. And these are the test data which uh, I'm uh, populating whatever it is given there in that uh, particular, you know, input data so same data i have also kept it over here okay so now my internal table is populated and once internal table is populated just i am sorting sort internal table descending by material number year and m underscore date right here descending should be here itself don't give uh, uh, here in this particular scenario because it's uh, it it will not work well there is a region because uh, here we are having all these data as a character data type, you know. So that is probably the region here it's going 
uh, it's working well here i have just tried and it was not getting it was not getting the expected uh, you know order in the descending order so uh, here it's the better place to give this descending it's working fine it's uh, sorting in the descending order and uh, then loop at uh, group by we are having okay so we are looping this internal table into this walk area uh, and grouping with this material number and year and if you can add it over here descending just for the safer side however without descending also it's working fine because already i have sorted here itself right so it's an optional right and then uh, we can just you know access the field like this so whatever the business logic and all we have we can write it over here okay all the business logic for this particular record so it's going to give me you know uh, the last record of that particular year of that material okay with the last date with the latest date it's going to give me i will show you just the output and if you want to access the member of the group right so it's th this particular syntax is going to group all these data over here based upon here you can see that group by material number and year so material number and year based upon the material number and year it's going to group so here 101 and here 101 and 202 and 201 so because both belongs to the same material number and year it's going to group together and because already i have sorted in descending so it will be there in the descending order with material year and material date here i have put all these three fields right and what it's going to do whenever the first member will come of that particular uh, group it's going to you know access that and going to print if you want to access all those members you can use this particular syntax over here okay i'll be giving the complete uh, uh, tutorial uh, detail about the loop at group by how to implement it and how uh, it's going to be used uh, with the different syntaxes you know even you can search with the pankaj loop at group by uh, sap app you will be able to get or maybe i will be giving you the uh, detail in the description box okay so here you check the syntax and activate this one activate this one and press f8 you can see that uh, the expected output was this right 101 2021 and 462021 right here also let me show you together this output so here you can see that uh here we are having 101 2020 right 101 101 2020 and 442020 right uh 442020 right and then 101 uh, here 101 2021 and 462021 so 101 2021 and 462021 so right so similarly for uh, 102 2021 and 142021 so uh, here 102 then 2021 and then 441201 here you can see that so like that it's uh, we are getting the proper output over here i will be sharing this uh, code also in the description box so just, you can just copy and you can try yourself also it's coming in the descending order because i, ha I had to descend i had i had to sort in, in the descending order because i wanted to access the last record you know uh, of uh, that uh, 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 date wise i wanted to access the last record date wise so i had to put in that way but still like if you want to have uh, in the ascending order what we can do that here we can write it append w a to it underscore tab one one more internal table i'll have to declare it let's define one more internal table tab one and data and then we can directly use 
uh, it underscore tab control f2 yeah it's working fine there is no issue and now this particular uh, stuff at last uh, we can write low part it underscore tab one into w a end loop so now we are preparing over here the final internal table sort it underscore tab one now i'm going to sort in the ascending order so that i can understand the data in a better way full stop and copy this copy this control v now i'm going to comment this one because that i don't want now activate this activate this and press f8 so here this is how we are getting let me see there is some problem uh we are appending this into it underscore tab one yeah sorry actually here we have to initialize with null right here here how it's so better maybe what i can do that uh simply let's use the value operator over here so tt underscore tab and control f2 control f2 and now it's fine so earlier because the complete data was getting copied into over here simply using the value operator i'm defining this one this internal table so if you want to learn the more syntaxes like this you know you can just search out in this youtube uh, my youtube channel itself i have already put all these syntaxes in more detail value operator reduce operator or even you can uh, access to my course there even you will get the more number of different different syntaxes so here now you just see activate this one press the fit and now you can see that now it's working fine one zero one zero two zero two zero four 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 one zero one zero and now let's have a quick comparison over here one zero one two zero uh two one it's not in actually proper order i have just put in that ascending so it's now here you can see that two zero two one four six two zero two one so it's working fine now and like this way you can achieve your requirement okay so thank you for watching this video. Bye-bye. Have a nice day.